In this video, we'll create 3D eyelashes for our Instagram filter. And in the end of video, I'll show you how to add freckles and blush to your filter, so stay tuned. Let's start. In order to get the really natural effect of 3D eyelashes, we would need to use eyelash blocks, which we can find in Spark Your Template under Makeup. And right here, we would need this um, eyelash block. And we actually are not going to need any of this material, so let's go ahead and delete them. So makeup and makeup. And makeup on the blocks. I love the retouch face mesh just because I like to use retouch face mesh anyway to make the skin a little bit smoother. Uh, but also I would like to rename it so it's just easier to work when it's named the right way, the way you want to name it. And we touch right here. Great, that's it. Under retouch, you can change the skin smoothing the way you want. Now we are going to move to the camera. And we'll have to create patch right here. Let's make our window bigger and this girl also. In the page editor, we need everything what is located in the red rectangle. If you take a look closer, it actually named as eyelashes. And everything outside of that rectangle, we can just go ahead and delete since it's not connected to the system anyway. And also, if you take a look, there are some blocks like eye color, opacity and length. They are not connected either, so you can also remove them. And moving forward, we would need to use this patch editor. This is actually our block which builds our 3D eyelashes. That's why our next step is to save this block to reuse for our eyelashes. So we'll go to File and Save. And now we can go ahead and open that block, the one we just saved. And we'll go to Blocks, Blocks, and under Textures, we'll see this picture for their eyelashes, the one Sparky are used to to build their eyelashes. So we actually gonna need to open this picture in Photoshop. And that's what we will use as a base for our eyelashes. Now we'll have to either draw our eyelashes by using, let's say if you have an iPad, you can use Procreate. But there is another lazy way you can simply launch your browser and look for Pixar stickers and find the eyelashes you want right there. Eyelashes, stickers, and here's a huge selection of eyelashes. You can choose any of them you like and save it to your computer. Right now, let's go back to our Photoshop and rename our first layer. Let's add another layer by clicking on the plus sign on the bottom right corner. We're gonna use this layer just to make our picture more visible. So we'll just add more color to that layer and I will name it color. Just wanna drag it under original and while it's active, you want to color it. On the left hand side, you're looking for the paint basket tool. And right here, you can choose any color you want. I like the blue, so let's go with blue. And we're just gonna fill it in with the blue color. All right, now it's easier to see the eyelash because before it was just kind of too light. And we would need another layer for our eyelash and I would name it like eyelash. And at this point, we'll have to add our own eyelash to our Photoshop. And if you decided to borrow eyelash from the PixArt, 
right click on the PixArt sticker and copy image. If you have Mac computer, you can just click Command V. Just make sure you are staying actively on the layer, which, which we named as ALH right here. What we want to do, since it's really hard to see that eyelash we just added, let's go back to original one and let's make opacity like 57 or less. And let's go back to our eyelash we just added. And in the top left corner, we're looking for image, adjustments, and click levels. On this window, we're looking for these three switches right here. And the middle one, we're just gonna drag it to the left. And as you see, the eyelash we have became a little bit brighter. So now we can see at least what's going on. And click OK. If you want to make it even more bright, I would just duplicate the layer. So right click on our eyelash and we're looking for duplicate layer. Yes. And now you see how it's even brighter again. And just to connect these two layers, just choose both of them at the same time. Just command and choose both of them. And right click again and we're looking to merge layers. Merge layers. And if you want, you can again make sure that layer is actively chosen. You click on image, adjustments and levels. And you can move this middle switch to the left to double the brightness. Now we have to make our eyelash tilted the same way as the original one. So while it's active, it's under, yeah, make sure that we have the eyelash copy actively chosen. And we are going to left top corner, click edit. And we are looking for free transform. Press and hold shift and try to rotate this eyelash to the same position compared to the original one. Now go ahead and right click on the trackpad and look for warp. It would give us a little bit more flexibility in transforming our eyelash. Just try to get it as close as you can to match the one we have from the Spark ER. And when you're done with editing, don't forget to uncheck all the extra layers to make them invisible and only leave the one you were working on. And then we can click File in the top left corner and click Export as Quick PNG and save our new eyelash. Then we are going back to our Spark ER and right here we'll double click on the eyelashes on the blocks on the left hand side. Say open, yes. And right here we are looking for eyelash matte material on the materials and we will have to click on alpha to open all the windows and the texture will have to create a new texture and here we are going to look our new texture the one we just created with the new eyelash we'll click open and right here we can actually compare our eyelashes the one we have the one we created is more real and curved compared to the one spark ER offered and what we can do, we'll go to the left top corner, we'll click File Save, and we can exit out this window. By now, the system should update your eyelashes in Spark ER, but you can also test it. Make sure to connect your phone to your computer, and in the bottom left corner, you'll see an iPhone icon. You can click on it and send image to your phone. Once we tested eyelashes, if you want to make some adjustments, you want to go to the left top corner and click eyelashes. And right here, the opacity in the right hand side, you will see eyelash opacity. I would recommend to change it 
from 0 0.9 to 1 and also the eyelashes length you can either leave it under one or you can just make it a little bit smaller that's the length of eyelashes when you actually close your eyes on the patch editor let's make it bigger just to make our eyelashes more full and uh, more like filled in we have we have to play with the numbers in the transition block and in add block so let's change numbers i would leave transition on the minus 20 on both of eyes and i would just change the add value to 20. But it's totally your game, just make it work the way you want. And of course, don't forget to test it on your device to see how it looks like. And if by any chance you notice that the eye line doesn't sit exactly on the eyelid, you want to change the position of your eyelashes right here on the position in the top right corner. So you can just make it a little bit lower by changing it from 0 to minus 0, 0, 0, 1 just to make it a little bit lower and once you change it don't forget to check it on your device and see how it how it actually sits on your eyelid and on right hand side also under eyelash color you can change the color for your eyelashes to any color you like and just to make our makeup a little bit more completed we will go back to our photoshop in a second to create our blush and freckles but at first let's create the new face mesh so right click on the face tracker and add face mesh right here and we're gonna rename it as blush And right click on our new face mesh and move it right above eyelashes. While it's still active, we'll move to the right hand side and click on plus sign next to materials and we'll create new material. And let's rename our material to blush freckles to keep it neat. And on the materials, let's click on that material we just created. And in the top right corner under shaded type, make sure you have it flat. And blend mode, we want to change from alpha to multiply. And we'll change opacity, we'll play with it later, but you can leave it like under 50. Use depth test, you want to uncheck it. And right to depth, you want to uncheck it too. And later on, we'll add texture once we'll create it. And moving forward, we will have to create our materials for freckles and blush. And we would have to use some face assets. I'll add the link in the description. So we need to use this face and we'll have to open it in Photoshop. So right click and open with Photoshop. Let's go ahead and create one more layer and name it freckles and let's make our face a little bit bigger we'll choose the brush on the panel on the left side brush tool and of course we have to choose the size of the brush i would go with one or two pixels normally and you can adjust it with with like moving forward and you can choose any brush right here, maybe something like soft brown. And of course, choose the color for your freckles. I already have set it up as brownish. Actually, let's go with two pixels. And you can start drawing your freckles randomly on the areas you want to have them. Also, the easy way to do it, you can download brushes. Like I downloaded extra brushes to my Photoshop let's say something like this it has already a bunch of spots together and it kind of creates an effect like for freckles and of course you want to make the brush smaller so let's make it to like 62 pixels and that's how you draw your freckles and once you're done you can uncheck the base layer with the face we have 
and you want to download your freckles file export quick export as png and save it to your computer great now we're gonna add another layer let's name it blush and we'll change our brush to brush tool and we'll change our brush to so from pressure opacity and now we'll have to change our color so let's say we'll go with something pinkish and opacity we want to change to maybe like 30 and of course the size of your brush you can zoom it up and just draw it this way to make your blush blur a little bit more to your face you want to go to filter blur and Gaussian blur you can change the size of radius and click OK and it looks more natural and again to save our freckles with blush together we can uncheck our base level leave our freckles and blush go to file export quick export and png rename it and save it to your computer done we can go back to our spark ar And now we can add our material and the texture in the right top corner, new texture and download our material. And once it's done, you want to click no compression. And that's it. Our filter is ready. We have our freckles, blush, lashes. And also we blurred our face to make our skin look more glowing. You can connect your phone, test it on yourself and see if you like it and download it to your Instagram. I hope this video was useful and feel free to ask me any questions. I'll be happy to answer them in comments. But for now, bye bye and see you in my next tutorial.